A gift for the ones I never touch. For the ones who wanted to watch films, who wanted to talk, who wanted silence and said I talk too much. For the one I saw weeks after, laughing. For the one who served me coffee and didn't recognise my hands. For the optimistic ones who write their names on toilet walls. The ones I never called. For the ones I called who didn't answer who left our love suspended from the ceiling hooks of that meat market city, for the ones who left and settled down, the ones who wanted knowledge, were curious, who gained something from each encounter, used each other, who took what they needed for everyone they hurt, who felt burned out, the ones who didn't realise everyone was burning, the ones who never slept, who died nightly, the ones who'd said they'd kill for it. For all of them, a gift. We were young. We only had our bodies. Arrasado. Para aquellos que nunca toqué. Para aquellos que querían ver películas que querían falar, que querían silencio y dijeron, falei demasiado, para aquel que vin semanas después a rir, para aquel que me serviu café y e no reconoció las niñas más, para los optimistas que escriben o seus nombres en las paredes de los baños, aquellos a quien nunca chamé, para aquellos que chamé y e no respondieron, que dejaron o nuestro amor pendurado en ganchos do teito de aquel mercado de carne de la ciudad, para aquellos que marcharon y e asentaron, aquellos que querían sabiduría, que eran curiosos, que obtuvieron algo de cada encuentro, que se usaron unos a otros, que cogieron lo que necesitaban para cada uno de los que magoaron, que sentieron que se queimaban, aquellos que no se decataron de que todos estaban a queimarse, aquellos que nunca durmieron que morreron de xeito nocturno, aquellos que dijeron que matarían por eso, para todos ellos, un agasallo. Éramos novos, só tiñamos os nosos corpos. Urination. I'm scared of bumping someone while they piss. Those Mondays on the pack horse, bikes home, swinging around the urinal bodies, and one day I know I'll knock someone and they'll piss their legs, or they'll turn slightly and show another man their full arc, or they'll fall into their own wet puddle, cock, limp, and neither of us will look, or he'll look at me, avoiding looking, feigning interest in the hard cream tiles. Maybe it's that I dream of being bumped, knocked from my aim by a stranger, the briefest touch during the private act. The toilet is an intimacy only shared with parents when you are young, and once again when they are older. And with lovers, when, say, on a Sunday, Morning stretching into the bathroom, you wake to the sound of stream into bowl and go to hug the naked body stood with its back to you and kiss the neck and taste the whole of the night on there and smell the morning's pale yellow loss and take the whole of him in your hand and feel the water moving through him and knowing that this is love. The prone flesh, what we expel from the body and what we let inside. Micción. Teño medo de chocar con alguien mientras mexa. 
Os lumes son unha besta de carga, alforxas colgando, indo e vindo arredor dos corpos urinarios, pero algún día seino baterei con alguén e mexarase as pernas e cambiará de posición e amosarálle todo o seu arco a outro home ou caerá no seu propio charco húmido, a pixa flácida e ninguén de nos mirará ou el mirará cara a min coma se non mirase, fingindo interese nos duros azulexos de cor crema Talvez o meu soño é que choque comigo un extraño, un brevísimo contacto durante ese acto tan persoal. O baño é unha intimidade só compartida cos pais cando é novo e logo cando eles se fan bellos e tamén cos amantes cando, por exemplo, nunha mañá de domingo vagarosa desde o lavabo Espertas co son do chorro no gáter e vas a abrazar o corpo espido en pé de costas a ti evitas e o pescozo e probas toda noite que hai ali e cheiras o fluvio amarelo pálido da mañá e agarras de todo coa man e sentes o seu través correr a uga e sabes que é o amor, carne flácida, iso que expulsamos do corpo e o que deixamos nel. Before I read this final poem, I want to thank Yolanda for inviting me and for reading the poems in Galician so beautifully, um, for Gonzalo's fantastic poetry, to Anton, who's in the audience for publishing um, the book and taking the chance on it. Um, and whatever happens um, in the coming weeks, I will always feel European. Antes de rematar, quiero pues, agradecer a todas las personas eh, envueltas en este, en este evento, pues, a Gonzalo, a Antón López, su editor, las traducciones, a nuestra lectura. Eh, pues, eh, durante las vindeiras semanas, acontece que acontece seguir a Sentinos Europea. Finally, a day will come when walking by the xylophone of sun through blinds, you'll realize that the beach was not the place where horses tore the sand to ribbon, that the scent of him has lifted from the last of the sheep, that he isn't coming back, that it hasn't rained, that the birds are pretending that it has, so they can sing. E para rematar, finalmente, chegará o día en que te decatarás ao espertar co xilófono do sol nas venecianas de que a praia non foi o lugar onde os cabalos delugaban a area gran, a gran, de que o seu recendo esvaeceu de todas as sabas, de que non volverá máis, de que non choveu, ainda que os paxaros simulen que o fixo para poder cantar. Thank you.